Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back with Force Haven World Adventures. Now I'm going to try and get the diamond skill here on All Might from this wrist milestone. Please? No. Okay, we got diamonds instead. That's okay. We can try again on one of the other races. Okay, so I've got to, to another weather milestone here on one of the other steeplechase races, so we really, really, really want that diamond skill. Okay, close, but we got Ice Runner, which is still an upgrade in weather skill, so that's going to make him a little bit better on those kinds of race tracks, um, which would be a benefit to us anyway. I'm just disappointed it wasn't the diamond. Right, okay, so we're going to go to the Nordic race here. We are going to do the 6,000 meter part because I want to increase the stamina skill with Dark Shadow because Dark Shadow doesn't really particularly have great stamina. So I'm going to be aiming to get to 6,000 so that we can get that upgrade onto him and make him just a little bit better in races and steeple chases. So here goes. Okay, so we're almost at the 6,000 meter mark here with Dark Shadow. Okay. Right, so we've made that, so that means we will get that regardless. I'm just going to go a little bit further, collect some coins, because extra money is always good. Um, especially whenever you're trying to breed. Some of those higher tier horses, rarer horses, gets very expensive. Oh, okay, we hit that bed, whoops. Right, so yeah, I want to get some extra coins while we're here. Right, okay. Getting a decent little bit of extra distance. I'm just annoyed to hit that fence. Ah, okay. Yeah, we hit that one too. Right, so that's as far as we've got, but that will give us enough to get this upgrade. So we will get that upgrade, and now he's got a silver uh, for his stamina skill, which is great. That'll help him run a little bit further in races in the future. Okay, so we've got our two Fiona Derbies here. There are tier twos. We're going to try breeding them together. Because I want to try and get the tier 3, which has got 12% chance. Very, very unlikely. Please. We've had quite a few failures with this so far, so I'm hoping that we might be lucky, because I really like the look of the coat on this one. Okay, we were really, really close, but we didn't get it. Okay, so here at the Mexico Steeplechase, we have got the chance to get another weather upgrade at the 2400 meter mark. So we're going to go in here once again. And uh, I'm going to bring All Might, because we're still trying to get that diamond scale on Sunstrider. So we're just going to have to try and get this. I don't know whether we're going to have any luck with this today, but all we can do is try. Okay, so we've managed to get far enough now for that weather skill. So just any extra is just extra coins and so forth. Managed to keep our shield this far, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Sometimes I lose my shield like instantly and I'm just like, whoops. But so far we've managed to keep it. And uh, we'll get a bit of extra coin here. And then maybe we can try breeding those Fiona Derbies again at some point in the future. I'm trying to save as much money at the minute as I can in between breeding because it's getting so expensive with certain horses to breed. Like, some of them are like 100k. And like, I never seem to have more than 100k or like 200k at any time. So it goes really, really quickly sometimes. But um, yeah, I'm really aiming to get All Might here to at least have one diamonded weather skill. And then hopefully move on to Todoroki and Dark Shadow and uh, get them all to diamond skills as well. Todoroki's only got one diamond skill at the minute. Okay, so we finished that. This will give us the wheel for the weather skills. Now, this is, you know, I don't want to spend diamonds on this. I could spend diamonds to increase my chances, but it gets extremely expensive. And I've learned in the past that sometimes it's just not worth doing. Okay, well, we didn't get what we hoped for, but we can always try again. Okay, so that's completed a quest. Um, enter and run the steeple just four times. Okay, so that'll give us some extra Kentucky Derby points. Okay, so over here in my UK ranch, I am going to upgrade the Grand Stable to open up eight more rooms. So we're upgrading to level two. So I've needed to do this for a super long time. It's also completed a quest for us. The other thing I want to do in here 
is upgrade the stables because now that I've leveled up, I can't upgrade these. Okay, just two other ones to upgrade now. There we go. Okay, great. That's all of those upgraded. Right, over here in the Kentucky Derby, I have one of my daily races remaining out of the 20 to do. Um, I'm going to take Todoroki into this. So, I'm still working on him, as you can see, he's not fully diamonded out yet. Still need to do my stable chases and so forth with him to the milestones that he needs to be done. He also needs to be leveled up to level 15. I feel a little bit silly because I accidentally diamonded one of his skills out before I was meant to because when your horse gets to level 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it has a chance um, sometimes to get skill upgrades, whether that's weather, skills, or just stamina, jumping, or speed. And I accidentally went into a milestone race with him, forgetting that he just was one off having a diamond skill. So I'm hoping I don't get any stamina upgrades on my wheel because I'm not able to use them. Um, so I need to actually train him to level 15 before I go and do any more milestone stable chases. Um, with him because I don't want to waste those extra upgrades so I'm hoping I'll get there eventually with him. Okay so he placed fifth in that race and that will give us 25 points. Okay so we are making a decent amount of progress, we've got just over 12,000 points overall. Um, we've got 8,000 which is now enough to get our first sanctity so we're gonna go ahead and get one of the sanctities. So are you sure you want to buy sanctity? Yes. We definitely want to. So there's our first Sanctity. So now we have the Fiona Derby and we have the Sanctity. The last one to get is Rosie Derby. I'm going to try and get it. I don't know if I'll just be able to manage those 6,000 points, but I'm hoping I might just be able to make it um, before this event ends. So we've made reasonable progress so far. I'm quite happy. Stable Sanctity. How are you going to put a horse in it? Okay. So we'll go ahead and move our new Sanctity exclusive horse into our stables. Okay, so let's go and have a look at our new Sanctity horse. Okay, so I quite like this horse. Um, it's got, you know, sparkles all over. It's got the sort of dip dyed mane. It's different. I like it. Um, okay, this tier two. I like that one, I think, even more. Don't know about tier three. I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see what they look like in game. Okay, so we're over here in our UK ranch. I'm just going to quickly collect the coins before we do anything else. So, get our money from those. Right, and we'll just clean up our paddock really quick. There we go. Okay, so our ground stable is now finished, so we just need to open it in just a minute, but I want to put these in to grow first. Okay, some strawberries, and there's some pumpkins. Okay, so let's unlock this. Okay, and that's completed a quest for us. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, no, it wasn't that. I always forget to do this, right? Okay, yeah. So on a level two Grand Stable and Home first. Okay, so we can claim that. That's gonna give us 500 diamonds and 500 XP. And then we can collect from our special quest, which is collect 500 diamonds. So we're making pretty good progress with our special quest so far. Now that we actually have space. <laughs> Because this is the the one ranch that I haven't had space in for weeks and weeks and weeks. And this thoroughbred foal has been in here since the twin breeding event. That's literally how long this foal has been here. So now that we have space, we can actually move it out and we can have a look and see what our horses are doing in here. Okay, so we've got quite a few thoroughbreds in here. We now have an extra bunch of spaces, which is great. I'm really pleased with that. I'm just going to go ahead and start putting a lot of these horses into train because I haven't been particularly good about training the horses on this particular ranch. Okay, that's all of those horses in to train, which is good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do some of our quiz questions here. So, okay, that one, yeah. Okay, claim that. Um, Okay, red stomp is elite. Got that. And then, okay. Uh, I think last chicaner. Yeah, okay. We're good. We got all of those. Okay, so here in my fantasy ranch, I've been training up as many of these fantasy horses as I could because I've ended up with a lot of these gate fairy corns. 
trying to breed for the glacial one. So basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is sell off all the ones that I don't need because I have quite a few here that I don't need at the moment. So we're just going to sell these um, because these are like, we've got a lot of duplicates at this point so we're just going to sell off all the ones that are over level 10 that will give us diamonds basically. Right, now the next thing we've got is collect 250 diamonds, so as we've been selling those fantasy horses we're nearly there, but we need to finish this off in our US ranch. Okay, so now that we're over in our US ranch, we have a couple of horses in here that I know that I can sell, and that should get us to the 250 mark to give us some extra points for the special quests. So just get all those coins collected. Now, we can sell this Fiona Derby, so we'll sell that one. We'll also... Okay, we have one more diamond. We need one more diamond, so we just need to sell one more horse. I know that I have some more here. Okay, so we can sell that tier two. Sorry, tier one Fiona Derby, not tier two. We need to keep our tier twos right now to try and bring a tier three. Okay, so we can now collect for our 250 diamonds, that's great. Right, so back to chasing those weather milestones. So uh, we're gonna do the Russian steeplechase here. Um, we need to get to 2,400 meters with this race. Um, so we're just gonna go and get All Might here. If we can find them. Where is All Might? Okay, there's All Might. Right, let's go. So we're gonna try and get another weather skill now with him, hopefully out of this Russian race. Ideally, we do we do what do want on Strider. Okay, so we've passed where we need to in order to get this weather milestone. So now the case is whether we're actually going to get it or not. That's the <laughs> that's going to be the tricky part because there's not much chance of it. We've only got 13% for the, the Diamond Sun Strider. Please, 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 please give us at least one weather skill. Okay, so we just got Ice Runner, so that is an upgrade at least. To ice runner okay so it, it's not a bad thing it, it's probably a good thing to be honest okay so we've completed a quest um, okay so this is one of our special ones yeah we can claim that it's only a small amount but every little counts at this point to be honest okay so over here in the pure bridges society um, I've been working on my tasks obviously I can't get the Pasifino but we can unlock the knob so let's have a look Okay, so I already have a tier 3 Nabstrapper, so now we need to just find one to breed it to. One of my friends here has a tier 4 Nabstrapper, so I'm going to try breeding my tier 3 to it. Um, so, let's try this. Okay. We have a 10% chance. Okay. We'll just up that to 15. I'd even be happy if we just get a tier 3 Philly, to be quite honest, because then I know I have two of them and I can breed for a tier 4. So... Let's say, okay, we got, please be a filly, <laughs> at the very least, because it's just a tier three. It is a cult. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> we haven't been lucky with that today, unfortunately. Okay, so we're back with the Kentucky Derby. We are super close to having enough points for the Rosy Derby. We only need a very small amount. So we're going to go ahead and do the Brazil Steeplechase, and we're going to get to 1,200 meters to get those Kentucky Derby points. And then hopefully we can go and get the Rosy Derby. And then that will mean we'll have one of every single one of the exclusive horses for this event, which would be nice. Now, where are you? I'm trying to find the horse I want for this. Okay, Todoroki. All right, we're going to bring Todoroki for this. So we just need to get to 1,200. It's not particularly far. Plus he's got diamond stamina, so that will help with this. All right, so... We just need to get to that milestone marker for those last few points. Okay, so we're over the point where we needed. We're just gonna keep going to get some more coins. And I am looking forward to getting this last horse because it's been really stressful <laughs> trying to get all three. Well, not super stressful, but it's like been, I have to remember every single day that I have to do um, everything to get them. Okay, so we've got those points. Okay, so that's completed a quest. So we claim that. Now we'll go ahead and get our horse. So we now have enough of the Rosie Derby horse. So we're going to go ahead and exchange that. That's the last of those horse that we needed to collect. 
So we'll move that into one of our stables in a moment. So glad that we finally got that horse. Uh, because we were getting very close to the end. I wasn't sure if we were going to manage to finish it or not. There's no one else I really want. Okay, your stable is empty. Hurry and put your horse in it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move our Rosie Derby in. Okay. There we go. So there we go. We've got all of those ones. We'll take a look at this. So here is our Rosie Derby. Okay, let's see. It's a tier two like. Okay, it's sort of a lighter horse. And then tier three. Okay, let's have a look at this horse. It's got very interesting markings. I think it's the first one that I've had that's had such different intricate markings on it. Um, it's a very different and quite interesting looking horse. Okay, so I'm going to try breeding for some t for a tier 3 with my Fiona Derbies. Um, actually, I'm going to use the ones in my ground stable rather than the one that's out. So we're going to use our tier 2s. Okay, where's my other one? Oh, wait. I think I just missed it. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, we want to try and get this tier 3. So, here goes. I don't think we're gonna get this, but we can only try. No, it doesn't look like it's gonna be our day, unfortunately. Once again with those. So, that's just another one that we'll have to train and then sell off for diamonds, unfortunately. But I am really pleased that we've managed to get each of the exclusive horses from this event. Um, so, we've got like a good amount of points and I think I might, if I keep my current ranking, at least I'll get a, an extra 10 diamonds. Um, for where I got the number of points that I got. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased. So what do you guys think of the Kentucky Derby event? And was there a particular one of the exclusive horses that you went for? Did you like the Fiona Derby? Did you like the Rosie Derby? Or did you like the Sanctity the most? I'd be really curious to know. You can let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you said love it. And bye!